Hey there, Taurus. It's Dana, the gypsy psychic. What's up? What's going on, you guys? What's happening? How's it shaking? How's it hanging? How's it rolling, Taurus? Huh? How's it going? So many astrological things happening in the sky right now. Holy schmoly. I hope y'all are handling it well. We have like like seven planets in retrograde and lining up. And I'm not an astrologer, but the tarot is rooted in astrology. That's why this is a general reading, right? Because your astrological placements will dictate how whatever message comes out in these cards affects your life, right? Um, it could affect your home, your family, your work, your job, your relationships, your interpersonal uh, decision-making processes. It can go in any direction. That's why I always say to know your real story, you have to have your cards read, right? So we're going to do a reading for Taurus, um, a reading for Taurus. Y'all come on in, come on in, sit down, put your feet up, pop your earbuds in, throw it up on a big screen if you want to, get your blanket, get your pillow, get you something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke, settle down, hunker down, and get ready for a message, okay? We're going to do a reading for Taurus. I am a Taurus sun, Pisces moon, Pisces rising, Pisces Venus, but nevertheless, a Taurus sun. Okay. So I have a vested interest in what comes out in this, um, kind of like you do. So I look forward to this as much as you guys do. Okay. I don't read my own cards unless there's like a real tight situation, you know, then I'll throw the cards. But uh, for the most part, I don't go around reading the tarot about how to navigate my life. I just do what I'm supposed to do. I practice my power of positive manifestation, and I follow my intuition. It is my roadmap. So, let's do this. I'm excited to see what's going on in here. All right, you guys. Let's do it. It's going to work like it always works. I'm going to shuffle. I'm going to pray. I'm going to lay out at least 15 cards. Why 15? Because 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 is the number of communication, and that's what I'm going for here, okay? Um, 15 cards. I will... Uh, talk about it as I clarify it and I'll sew together a story. I am going to confuse you. So just hang with me. Let me work through it and I will read you the, the, the reading in its entirety. Okay. All right, you guys, let's do it. Let's do it. Give me a second to channel and pray and we'll jump right into it. Okay. You ready? 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 Y'all follow along with me. And I know this is already happened by the time you're watching this, but if you will ruminate inside of you what it is that you need direction or understanding about, the reading will speak to you in your own way, okay? No two people pick up this reading the same way. Not going to happen, right? No two people have the same reading. From this YouTube tarot card reading, there's not two of y'all out there that are going to resonate with this in the same way. Okay? All right. So let's do it. Spirit. Source. Universal energy. I have the collective of Taurus with me. Spirit. And Taurus wants to know what you know. What do you know about Taurus? And what does Taurus need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their future. Spirit, what's coming towards Taurus? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their life for their very best and highest good? Spirit, please use me as a clean and clear vessel to not only interpret these messages, but to explain them as well. Please tell me where the stopping point is. I will cut three times and I'll pull straight from the top spirit. What is it that Taurus, okay, needs to know right there and understand? All right, Taurus, let's cut these cards. Let's go. Oh, yeah, I got this over here. Hold on. This is, hold on. So let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. All right. 
bottom of the deck, the Queen of Swords in reverse. We're going to set her aside. The Five of Pentacles in reverse. The Hierophant. All right. First card out. Oh, wait. I keep forgetting. Okay, yeah, you guys can see those. I'm so sorry. This is a new, a new setup thing for me here. Let me just move this away. This is my soapstone. My brother gave that to me. I don't think it has any real like energetic significance, but it does to me. All right, so you guys can see all of that. First card out, Prince of Swords, possibly some kind of communication, uh, a decision perhaps, to the Princess of Cups in reverse a creative block or stifled creativity, Queen of Wands in reverse, needs not being met, angry, deceptive, the Ten of Cups, family, happiness, your sense of well-being, emotional sense of well-being, and strength. The Four of Wands in reverse, a lack of peace and contentment. The King of Pentacles in reverse, could be you, Taurus, I don't know, we'll see. Six of Cups in reverse, in the center of the reading, um, this is either stuck in the past, or it is about unable to reconcile the past. Look at that to the fool, bouncing out, and then, oh, in the wheel of fortune, sweet. The three of wands, fantastic. Ten of swords in reverse. This is either going to be renewal or regeneration or an inevitable ending. The king of swords, some kind of truth. The empress, you traditionally. Uh, Libra sometimes, um, but it doesn't have to be you. The chariot, doesn't have to be you, Taurus. The chariot, pushing forward, rolling forward, doing what you need to do. Five of wands in reverse. Uh, Queen of pentacles in reverse. Okay, now we're repeating, right? So, okay, so the ten of wands, the prince of cups in reverse, the nine of pentacles, princess of wands in reverse, the seven of swords, the hermit, the nine of cups, the prince of wands in reverse. Okay, see how it repeats like that? Judgment, now it's going to start repeating again, right? Interesting. Well, we'll stop. We'll stop. Yeah, okay, now it's gonna repeat, right? All right, so we have probably two cycles of repeating there, but sometimes we get good details in between that if we hadn't have kept reading, um, we wouldn't have got, so yeah. All right, you guys, I'm gonna clarify this now. Um, if it gets too long or too in-depth, I will fast forward this section of the video. Um, so y'all don't have to just sit through it all because it, it's just, I'm going to confuse you. So just bear with me. I'm going to come back to the top. I'm going to read the whole thing for you, okay? Cheers. Let's do this. A couple things y'all need to know about me before we throw down. Um, I smoke my vape. If you don't like it, too fucking bad. Just go someplace else. I have a propensity to be inappropriate. I swear, if that offends you, bothers you, hurts your soul somehow, some way, you really ought to go home, Okay because it's probably gonna happen. Um, if you have a huge ego, um, you might wanna buckle up, all right? Uh, let's jump into this and see what your message is from whomever it is that you're getting one from. All right. So the Prince of Swords, y'all can see all those, right? Yeah, 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 no, you can only see it down here. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, and I'll bring this row up here when I read about it so you can kind of see them. And for all y'all who are like OCD out there and want to straighten my cards, um, yeah. Okay. All right, let's do it. The Prince of... Woo-wee! Prince of Swords. That did not count. That was human error. I literally threw that card over there. All right, the Prince of Swords. Prince of Swords. Oh, goodness. All right. The Hierophant and the Nine of Swords are definitely trying to come out here. So the Hierophant to the Nine of Swords. So some kind of communication in regards to either some kind of commitment, obligation, contract, um, some communication about something significant. Nine of Swords would be an extreme amount of anxiety and despair. Okay the princess of cups in reverse remember i'm gonna go back and explain this princess of cups in reverse uh stifled creativity tell me about this please tell me about this stifled creativity right here please tell me about 
tell me about this stifled creativity. This information brings some kind of a stopping point. Yeah, strength. Strength. The Queen of Wands in reverse. Who is this? Holy schmoly. Who is this? Spirit, tell me again, please. Tell me again, please. Six of Cups. Someone from your past. Someone in your family. Someone in your four fuzzy walls that make up your emotional world. Okay. Okay. So the Queen of Wands, she is um, about a lack of success. She's a lack of confidence. She is jealous. She's angry. She's spiteful. Um, sometimes she's out of control. Sometimes she's the crazy person here. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Keep doing what you always done. Gonna get what you always got. A lack of success, a lack of reward. Alrighty, to the Ten of Cups and strength. So what's, what is this? The Ten of Cups and strength. Justice is coming your way for this. Interesting, what is happening here? What is happening here? So what's this justice then? The Ace of Cups? Right, Taurus, this is what's going on. This is what's happening. We have two stories here, okay? There's two different stories, but yet they commingle with one another. So, this is what's happening. So, <laughs> okay. Prince of Swords, right? There is um, communication that's coming into you. Okay, there's, there is going to be some kind of big deal communication. Two of Wands, that is the path of your future, okay? The Hierophant, this communication is about commitments, obligations, contracts. It could be work, love, money, family, anything, okay? Anything, a, a lease on an apartment, okay? Anything at all. Page of Pentacles, this contract, obligation, commitment is going to um, till the ground to sow seeds of prosperity for you the emperor, um, your hard work, your negotiations, your uh, insight, your dominance of your life and the way that it needs to be is why this is coming into you, okay? So you have done something, you have taken control of yourself, your finances, your life, your situation, um, you've taken control of it, okay? Nine of Pentacles independent and self-sufficient. Um, this opportunity is going to make you independent and self-sufficient. If you are an entrepreneur with the Nine of Pentacles and the Emperor and the Hierophant, you are going to be outrageously successful, okay? Just be very careful um, about about things, okay? Um, if you, if this, the Nine of Pentacles says independent, self-sufficient, okay? So perhaps you are um, making a decision to leave a situation behind you, okay? And this is you moving forward. Either way, there is something amazing, some kind of communication that is bringing an offer, a contract, um, a commitment of some sort towards you. Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is about triumphant success in the mind. This reiterates to me that you have successfully manifested a positive outcome in your life. This also says to me that there is something else that you need to see very, very clearly. Ten of Pentacles. This opportunity is, is so golden. I mean, so golden, Taurus. It is just golden. Job offer house, contract, apartment, place to live, um, whatever it is for you, it's spot fucking on, okay? All right, to the Princess of Cups in reverse and the Queen of Wands in reverse, okay? This is the second story. This is the second part of it, okay? There is someone in your life 
that is egocentric, self-centered, uh, possibly financially impaired, um, definitely motivationally impaired, okay, um, that is coming to cause trouble for you, okay? Six of Cups. You have some kind of emotional past with this person. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. It's a lack of success. It's a lack of progress. It's a lack of reward. It's doing the same shit over and over and over again, expecting different results. This person is a train wreck, okay? They're, they're, they're a train wreck, okay? That's why over here we have the Nine of Swords associated with that beautiful big thing there. It's about anxiety and despair. Two of Cups in reverse over a relationship, any kind of relationship in the past that um, was not, that broke up somehow, some way, okay? To the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, um, this relationship somehow stripped you of money or stability somehow, some way. Princess of Cups in reverse to the Queen of Wands in reverse. The Princess of Cups in reverse says that your ability to create what it is that you're trying to manifest in your life will be stifled if you fall prey to this person. Okay? This cup is this cup. This card is also about emotional immaturity. Okay? And I asked, is this emotional immaturity this Queen of Wands right here directly? Strength in reverse came in and said, yes, this is their weakness. They are emotionally immature, which also leads me to rehab or something. Maybe this is someone coming out of rehab or coming out of jail that just doesn't change. They're the same old, same old four of cups, right? They think they got it nailed down, but they're missing a huge piece that they probably will never get unless they have an awakening of some sort. They'll probably, unfortunately to say, live and die like this because their ego with that Queen of Wands in reverse is too huge for them to be able to um, identify their own weaknesses and correct them, okay? So you have some kind of a train wreck headed towards you that is going to interfere with this offer that's coming your way. Ten of Cups, your family, your home, your peace. To the Strength card, um, this needs to be your strength, okay? Your, the peace in your life right now is about to be disrupted by this person coming back from your past, okay? Justice says it's in your best interest to maintain and keep a peaceful, peaceful life. Ace of Cups. Um, Ace of Cups is a new beginning in love sometimes. And down here, I think that plays into the fool in the wheel of fortune. The Ace of Cups is about emotional growth. Absolutely. The Ace of Cups is about um, the feelings that you have invested in this person that is coming back from your past. Page of Swords, coming back from your past. The Magician in Reverse manipulation, um, an inability to manifest, and untapped potential. So, even though you have feelings invested in this situation, it's in your best interest to stay focused on your emotional balance, your emotional comfort. Uh, it is best for you to um, understand that this person is by nature some kind of manipulator and um, they're in it for their own best good and not for your best good, okay? The Magician in Reverse is about stifled potential, right? They have their own stifled potential because they can't get their shit together, but they're also going to stifle your potential. And this could be baggage also that you're trying to get away from and they just keep coming. It's like they, it's like they cling on, right? They just won't go away. 
Hmm. Interesting. Four of Wands in reverse, a lack of peace and contentment in your life. The King of Pentacles in reverse. Perhaps this person used to hold title in your life, but doesn't anymore. Perhaps you tried to make a silk purse into a sow's ear, and at one point in the past tried to make this person be a King of Pentacles when they really couldn't be a King of Pentacles at all. Page of Cups, whatever it is, they're coming back. Five of Swords talks about a... Uh, a, 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 a win at all costs kind of mindset. So they're coming back in a win, of all, win at all costs kind of mindset. Seven of Swords in Reverse talks about breaking free from betrayal and deception. Four of Swords in Reverse, um, mentally restless. Hold on. The King of Wands, your future, your success. No, this person. Five of Pentacles coming out of the cold. Knight of Pentacles in reverse, but nothing has changed. Okay, so this person is going to come to you with all kinds of exciting news because maybe you're their last chance, maybe you're their last ditch effort. Um, but they're they're coming at you. Um, they want to break free from their own situation. Four of Swords in reverse, perhaps a situation that they can't figure out how to get out of. They're coming to you with the King of Wands, perhaps all pumped up with motivation. Um, five of Pentacles in reverse, coming out of the cold or wanting to come out of some kind of financial situation to the King of Pentacles in reverse, but this person has not changed. Just like they're saying up here, this person has an inability to change the way that their their mode of operandum because they, they're, they're like, they don't get it. Four of Cups, right? They don't get it. Six of Cups in reverse in the center of the reading. Hold on, I have to smoke real quick. Hold on. Six of Cups in reverse in the center of the reading. It is unrealistic of you to try to um, reconcile this relationship. You can't reconcile the past. You cannot give this person enough chances to reconcile the past. You can't make sense of the past. The past is the past is the past. Just come to terms with it and move the fuck on. Queen of Cups in reverse. All your hurt feelings, maybe your empathy or your sympathy for this person. Six of Swords in reverse. It's just mental baggage that is going to keep you stuck in the same old, same old with this whole situation. Nine of Swords in reverse. You know it's just going to end. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. The same way it's always ended. This person cannot change until they have a come to Jesus meeting or a come to Muhammad meeting or an awakening of some sort, somehow, some way, okay? Queen of Pentacles, maybe you're their mom. Maybe uh, you have a sense of responsibility to take care of this person somehow, some way. Perhaps you're their wife, perhaps you're their husband. Perhaps you're trying to break free from this person the Queen of Pentacles is about owning your shit, though. It's about standing strong. It's about saying my sense of well-being is more important than anything else. Because if I do not have a sense of well-being, I can be of no good or no use to anyone else. You can't run on empty and give it all away to someone who simply just wants to consume it because they can't produce it themselves. Whether it's self-worth, whether it's money, whether it's whatever it is, this person can't produce it and you can't go without it just so this person can have it. Straight up, Taurus. The Fool to the Wheel of Fortune. New beginning, new journey, turning point. <coughs> you standing in your power and coming up against this situation and successfully navigating your way through. Remember in the beginning of this, I asked, how does Taurus successfully navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their life for their best and highest good? And this is it. 
What's your best and highest good? Well, the, the wheel of fortune and the fool. The wheel of fortune says we are going to divinely orchestrate the steps of your path. The fool says a brand new beginning, a brand new journey, a leveling up of your spirituality because you have overcome. Where's that strength card in reverse, right? You have overcome your demons. What's your demons? Well, it's your feelings for this situation, your empathy, your compassion for this person. You have finally, or hopefully will, create some kind of boundaries in your life and not let this person consume you anymore. This is winner, winner, chicken dinner right here. This is winner, winner, chicken dinner. The fool and the wheel of fortune. A massive leveling up of your spiritual understanding because you are choosing to, to, to follow what spirit is already telling you about this situation versus following your flesh nature, which is to help this person over and over and over and over again. Okay. The fool, brand new beginning, brand new journey, the wheel of fortune, a massive turning point of divinely orchestrated steps in your life to the 10 of cups. Twice it's here, the 10 of cups and the 10 of pentacles. Your future Taurus looks amazing. Page of Pentacles. This is this offer right here. What's going to keep this offer from coming into your life is the, allowing this person to consume you. Mm -hmm. It's true. To the Six of Wands. Victory, progress, and success. It turns this magician from an inability to manifest and, and, and dampened potential into the upright. Turns this page of swords into seedlings of new thoughts in your mind. Ace of cups, emotional growth and justice. It's what's in your best interest. What's in your best interest to realize that this is a demon that you have to fight. And it's either going to be a stumbling block or a stepping stone. Three of wands. Have some foresight for the future. Have some foresight for the future. Ten of wands in reverse to the queen of pentacles in reverse. Ten of so oh, there we go, to the King of Pentacles in reverse. The Ten of Swords in reverse is renewal and regeneration from something that has caused you pain before. The situation, this person. Okay? The King of Pentacles in reverse, it reiterates the same King of Pentacles that was in reverse right here, right? Um, this is not going to perpetuate success in your life. It's just not. The Queen of Pentacles. Oh, my bad. Yeah. The King of Swords. Okay. This person and their truth. It's twofold. This person and their truth. The devil. They're full of shit. Full of shit. Page of Wands. They want to spark something up with you. Somehow, some way. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Queen of Pentacles in reverse says upset in the home, upset in the money, upset in the finances an upset in your complete and total sense of well-being. It also talks to me a little bit about guilt, too. Maybe you have some guilt associated with this. Now, in the other respect, King of Swords. See the truth of the situation. I know it's just going crazy. King of Swords, see the truth of the situation. Clear, logic, truthful understanding. No denial truthful understanding that ace of swords back up here right mental clarity you have to see something very very clearly in order to step into or over this threshold what do you have to see very very clearly the devil an attachment that is a restriction to your growth is toxic to your life page of wands don't follow the flesh follow what you know to be true in your chest to the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. You cannot hold the Queen of Pentacles title in this person's life. You just can't. Whether it's a child, a brother, a sister, whatever, you cannot hold a place of honor or title in this person's life because this person doesn't care about anybody but themselves. 
and it's going to drain you of the resources that you are all your resources that you're going to need to move into this beautiful future the empress this is your goal to the chariot the chariot is about putting in the self-control the willpower and the determination that you need to put in to do what it is that you need to do to get done what it is that you need to get done the empress is you doing that the empress is lesson number three of the major arcana because lesson number one is the magician where your mind goes your reality becomes lesson number two is the high priestess your intuition is always leading you in the direction of your best and highest good the empress this is you the a card of taurus standing in your power standing in your power manifesting the kind of life that you want for yourself and seeing this as the stumbling block that it is the chariot says you have put in the self-control the willpower and the determination to do what needs to be done what is that recognizing this as a stumbling block and stepping over it five of swords in reverse letting go of a mentality that would have or is keeping you stuck hangman in reverse letting go of a mentality that is nothing but stalling and delays in your life the star this is your path this is your purpose this is the direction you are supposed to go we are so proud of you and now it's time to step into a brand new beginning a brand new journey with divinely orchestrated path in front of you beautiful Taurus absolutely beautiful the repeating cards okay five of wands in reverse uh, avoid conflict Queen of Pentacles in reverse it's only gonna upset everything ten of wands it's going to be the same old burden and struggle that it's always been Prince of Cups in reverse this person is not emotionally grown enough to be able to make sense of themselves or their lives again it leads especially with that devil there it leads me back to addiction or coming out of rehab or something because you know when when you are a heavy drinker um, or a, a drug addict of some sort right your emotions that's why most people are that way right you're trying to keep down the painful feelings right and your emotions never have a chance to develop right because you're always suppressing them and suppressing them and suppressing them right so you don't have a chance to emotionally develop so most addicts and alcoholics run around with the emotional maturity of like a 10 year old for real nine of pentacles S stand on your own stand on your own bring this to a culmination princess of wands in reverse there's nothing good to be had here the seven of swords same old betrayal deception fuckery the hermit do some serious soul searching and introspection nine of cups about what it is that is going to maintain the peace and the harmony in your life prince of wands in reverse don't let this happen seven of wands in reverse protect yourself the world in reverse don't have a lack of critical self-analysis the world in reverse is about fighting your demons and when you fight your demons and you conquer what your own issues are the world flips in the upright and a new chapter starts that goes right back here remember we're repeating seven of cups in reverse it's a diversionary tactic judgment make a conscious cognitive decision the the relationship ended for a reason and it's still there the alchemist in reverse there is no potential Queen of Cups in reverse, feeling bad for this person. Two of Wands in reverse is going to affect your future. Princess of Swords in reverse, shoulda, coulda, wouldas, all talk, no action, undelivered promises. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse, a loss in your future. King of Wands in reverse to the Three of Pentacles. If you think that an egocentric, self centered person who has the emotional maturity of like this, right is going to give you the teamwork and the collaboration that you need to jump into this this beautiful future that you have here so there you go Taurus whoever this person is that's coming back at you no matter their capacity or their title in your life do not engage do not engage 
It is in your best interest to not engage. You have a beautiful future ahead of you and you can't take this person with you. You can't, you can't take this person with you. You just can't. They are a detriment to your future success. Namaste.